I stepped out my front door and started my watch. My head lurched as I started running, blood flowing in all the wrong ways as my vision filled with black spots. I shook it off. I had five miles to run. I returned 39 minutes later, my body heavy and my stomach growling. Walking inside, I washed my hands before doing core for 10 minutes and finally showering. Cleaned and dressed, I sat down in front of my laptop, slid on my headphones to blast some music, and pulled up my French translation homework. I worked for some 35 minutes before my dad tapped my shoulder to tell me dinner was ready. When I stood up, the room swam before me. I shook it off and went to wash my hands before eating. I had six miles to run today. I did not actually have six miles to do. The NCAA had canceled all spring championships. The America East had canceled conferences. UMBC had canceled all practices. Coach Gitterman had canceled all training. Still, I started my watch and lifted my lactic acid-filled legs. I was a Division I track and field athlete. I had to run. My head and stomach ached when I came back to my front door 47 minutes later. I walked into my house, washed my hands, and did 15 minutes of core. I had seven miles to run today. My mind dragged my legs out of the door on autopilot. I started my watch and my legs forced themselves forward. I came back 55 minutes later and shoved my body through my door to go wash my hands. Once in my room, my body laid itself down on the floor, the hardwood cooling my sweaty back. As I tried to build the willpower to do core, I felt the familiar but unnerving pain radiating from my right shin. Sitting up, I pressed my thumb along the bone to determine how overboard I had gone in trying to feel secure in my identity as a competitive runner. I hit a spot that made me squirm under the increased pressure. I sighed heavily and laid back down. Images of me in my prime of racing flashed in my head. I told myself that I was running to ensure I was in shape for the next time we raced. That was a lie. I was running to reach my unachievable view of what a Division I track and field athlete should look like.